everyone welcome to the Jurassic Park collection. Today is day 4 of our Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Metal Toys reviews. And today our special guest is the Baryonics. This guy resembles a lot to the Spinosaurus, minus the cell. However, I don't mind. This is really cool figure. I really like the color. I really like everything I've seen so far on the box. So I cannot wait to get this guy out of its box. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here's the Baryonics. Let's take a closer look. Mm, here it is. I really, really like this blue metallic color. It, it's so awesome. I mean, we haven't had any dinosaurs with that kind of color. I wish it was all over its body, but it's only on the head. It makes it look like if it was a little wet, which is pretty cool because this is supposed to be a, a fish-eating dinosaur just like the Spinosaurus because of its its mouth, its long mouth it's very small eye, you can see the beautiful details of the blue metallic color for some weird reason inside the mouth it's not painted pinkish here, but it's okay You can see its tongue, its teeth. Its beautiful neck. Really cool hands. Really, really cool hands. Like this claw is super amazing. And as you can see, you can move its hand quite a lot. The other hand is not movable just yet because it's inside of the box. can see the button is barely noticeable, barely. Oops, really cool feature. Okay, let's keep watching at the box. Here's a pretty cool picture of the Baryonics, which is super interesting because here you can see it has a little color error, but that's like the picture on the box. The actual dinosaur doesn't have that. It's, it's odd, but uh, I noticed it was a little confusing, but it's okay. It's fun. You can see the, the movement of the jaw. Here it says Rorivores, Rugidores, Baryonics. Three ages and up. Here's Owen and Blue, our dear heroes. The beautiful setting of the cage with the volcano on the back. The Jurassic World grey logo. And the full baryonics. You can see the details are really good. You need to press the button really hard to make it close its mouth all the way otherwise you can, it only closes like that far okay. on the side it's the Jurassic World logo again and you can see the back here it has a really nice picture of the Baryonyx and as you can see here it doesn't have the, the yellow dot so it's a different dinosaur you can see how it closes and opens its mouth. The Raw Reverse um, logo the, the symbol. Push button for sound and chomping action. Presiona el botón para activar sonido y mordida. The beautiful picture of the Baryonyx. And here we have um, beautiful pictures of the Allosaurus. The Metriacanthosaurus, 
I hope I said that right. And the Triceratops. The warning signs, blah blah blah, boring, boring, boring. Contains one dinosaur, more disclaimers, more blah blah. Here's the box again. And on this side, there's the beautiful cage setting with the background of the burning volcano and the Jurassic World logo. So let's stop wasting time and take this guy out of its box. It's finally out of its box. Let's take a closer look at it. It's really beautiful. I'm really happy with this toy. Look at its tiny eye, its little nostril. I'm really enjoying the the way the um, its jaw looks like a crocodile. Its little tongue, it's right there. I'm still baffled about this not having color, but anyway. This is all the way with its mouth closed. You can see it's missing a little piece here, a little bit wider. But nitpicking, nitpicking. I'm sorry, I'm just nitpicking. Let's take a look here. Look at that detail. Let's look at that. So beautiful. It's beautiful hands and again the claws are not painted. Why are the claws not painted? Like seriously. I don't want to have to make do, to do manicure to every single one of my dinosaurs. I am going to but I don't want to. It's armpit. This is a um, a very common articulation with uh, Mattel toys, which I really like. Here's another uh, little, what is this thingy? I don't know, little spot. I'm really liking its its hands. I really like this claw. Here's the 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 voice box, the sound box. That is called. Listen to that. And this is the only visible screw, which I am okay with that because it's visible, but it's not really that visible when you, once you have the dinosaur like standing how it should how it should be it's it's not really that bad it's like the old Kenner toys okay here's the detail on its leg I'm liking the color I'm liking the the bluish spots that it has here beautiful feet and I really like its feet it's 
Everyone's complaining that the the metal toys are have very large feet. I don't see it. I don't. I don't mind. Um, to me, they are perfect. Like little chicken wing, chicken legs. Very beautiful. And this glow here is not painted either. Why? I don't get it. That just me. Here's the little scales that look a lot like crocodile's back. I like it. I, I, I can see where the inspiration for this design came from. I like it. And it stops here. Here in the tail there's not that much, but still there's enough detail as you can see. The tail is a little softer here in the, in the, in the tip softer than the rest of the toy. The rest of the toy is really hard plastic. And the the hands are also softer um, rubber. Softer rubber. That's what I meant. As you can see, look at how it bends. It's, it's nice. Here is the, um, the code for the app. Take a good look at it. You can use it as if you want. And on the other feet, near the foot, is the Jurassic Park logo. The little T-Rex there. All the, all the toys have like this articulation here on, on their, their feet, which is pretty cool because you can actually work out how to make it stand a little better. The tail does not bend, it, it just stays like that. And as you can see, it's a little bendable here, only on the tip. But the rest of it, it's really, really hard. Here's the size comparison with a human figure. Here's Ellis Hadler. It looks um, almost to scale, but of course the Kenner figures are always a little larger than what Mattel is thinking of. How, however, in terms of playability, I like this size better. Overall, this is a really good toy. I really, really like it. The It, it has a lot of beautiful features. Again, I'm, I'm in love of this color. I really like this color. But the fact that we have finally an actual baryonyx that looks like a baryonyx is amazing because what we had before was a disaster. Sorry, Kinner, but it was a disaster. The button is really well hidden, as you can see. Really like the mobility of its arms, of its legs. Just like all the other um, two fit dinosaurs, are super hard to stand up it's quite a challenge well of course I had to be proven wrong right this instance what I'm telling whatever it's a really good toy I really like it this guy is really cool 
I was a little hesitant of buying him because of the Spinosaurus, but I had to get over that and since this guy is featured in the new movie, I had to have it. So I am super pleased, I am very happy I did bought it. Um, the, the mobility is really good, the sounds are amazing. I actually think these are Spinosaurus' sounds, I'm not quite sure about it. But so far I am super pleased, I am super happy and I am glad I bought it. Um, Mattel, once again, wow, I mean seriously, wow, I am amazed. This guy, super cool, super super cool. I am finally getting the toys I ever wanted since I was a kid. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Mattel. So if you have a chance to get this guy, I recommend you getting it. <laughs> so far I have recommended every single toy I know, but so far I haven't been even the slightest disappointed. So go get him, this is really cool, but plus he is actually featured in the film, which is a plus. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget, click like and subscribe if you want to see more Jurassic Park and World videos in my channel coming soon. And if you want to see pictures of the toys and of my collection in general, please give us a like in our Facebook page. I try to upload there uh, every single day as much as I can. I upload pictures, uh, some other videos, some memes, even some pictures. And if you want to contact me, that's the way to go. And I try to be as responsive as I can. And remember, if it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct!